Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. Since uh, version 1.0.54, we introduce an option for the snapping mode when we work with the freeform surfaces. And I will show you why and when this is needed. So let's take a look at this object. Yeah. At the top, this is a prismatic area where I probably can create with a revolved surface and some planes. But the rest of the part is um, freeform, so I probably will start uh, working on it in a standard way. I just go to new freeform and here the snap mode is on. And by default, um, when you run the software, th there will be an option which is called snapping type. And since um, uh, this version, the internal implementation was a closest point. And I'll tell you what does it mean. So I will just create a rectangle here and we'll start building my surface. Just we'll duplicate this. And if you see that if I just track a point, it just go back and finds the closest point on the mesh and projects it. So then I may want to split this surface, pressing the S key, we'll start tweaking and improving my shape. So what is the problem now that here underneath I have my extra surface so this point always goes and snaps to the mesh and this uh, actually is not good for me because I want to trim it later and uh, it's hard to actually improve my shape and do it in exactly the way I want it so whatever I do here it always will create this shape. So how to solve the problem, I will just close temporary this and will use my selection tools. I'll just click here, probably will extend the selection, make it bigger. And I'll just right click and hide this because I don't need it, put it on top view. I will just use my manual selection and we'll just paint the area which I don't need right click and hide select so currently i have uh, i don't have um, mesh which i need and i can go back now and edit my quad surface so the problem is that even if it, the triangles are hidden still when i move the points they snap to the um, closest point that's why we introduced an option for this which is called ray projection. So the difference is that uh, when I manipulate the point, if I drag the point and drop it, if it doesn't, it takes the normal to the surface and try to intersect with the underlying um, triangles. And if it doesn't hit any triangle, it just stays where it is. For example, this one found a reason to do here and I move it and I can just tweak my uh, surface here. So then in this case, I can just move my point. And as you see, because there is nothing underneath, I'll put the transparent uh, mesh display, because there is nothing underneath, it will not um, move this point. And this help us also when we have uh, tools like snap all to the mesh, this again uses the ray projection and I easily can update and build my surface in the right way. In many cases this is useful for a very complex form and I hope this will improve your skills to create more complex surfaces like this one. Thank you for watching.